Welcome to Headline News 24-7. Please click like and subscribe. Big tech days by Ted Cruz takedown. Their time of immunity could be over. It's not a secret that most of the companies in Silicon Valley are run by left-wingers. Some of your favorite sites, including Google and YouTube, have been cracking down on content they deem wrong. We're not talking about content that glorifies crime or violence, but content like news, videos, and images posted by popular conservative websites. These Silicon Valley giants have decided it's up to them to suppress the free speech of millions of Americans, particularly those Americans who elected Donald Trump to the White House. That doesn't sit well for patriots like Senator Ted Cruz. The Texas lawmaker had some harsh words for big tech, and he's dropping the hammer on them. From CNS News. If big tech cannot provide us with evidence, clear compelling data, and evidence that it's not playing Big Brother with its vast immense powers, there's no reason on earth why Congress should give them a special subsidy through Section 230, Cruz added. Boom. Ted Cruz is threatening to take away big tech's Section 230 immunity and if they continue to censor conservatives. What is this immunity? Basically, big social networks like YouTube, Twitter, etc. aren't held responsible for the content users post on their site. That means the government won't go after Google if there is a criminal content being spread through their platform. It protects these tech giants from prosecution and lawsuits. Simply put, it's pretty important to them. But over the last few years, Google and others have been suppressing the free speech of its users. They are playing the big role of Big Brother by censoring what people can or can't say on their websites. If they're doing that, why should they enjoy immunity from the government? The government has been protecting these websites only for them to silence millions of Americans. Without this immunity, they would be treated like any other news agency. That would change how people use social networks. These big sites must lose many users and dollars. They can't have that. But while they still ban and block people from simply supporting the president, their immunity won't be around for much longer. I can't say I feel sorry for them. This has been a long time coming, and it's about time Silicon Valley giants be held to the same standard as everyone else. Do you demand free speech on social networks? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.